Trump's doing this rally in the Bronx. I want to show you this. This is the politics of New York State. And we can see that the political breakdown as of 2024 is 48%, 48.8 Democrat, 22% Republican. Then you've got conservative and minor parties. I don't really matter. Unaffiliated is 24%. Donald Trump could win if the the unaffiliated in in, in, in their near entirety joined with Republicans. But take a look at this. New York polls. They actually don't often have polls for states like this. So they have the one here. From May 13th to 15th, Santa College, Trump is only down nine points in a D plus 23. New York State is a Democrat stronghold. Trump should be down by 20 plus points. He's down by nine. That's what he's looking at. And then we got this tweet here from Amy Kramer. I was a Democrat, but I'm actually, but actually I'm supporting Trump. I'm a bronze resident, and actually I was a Democrat, but actually I'm supporting Trump. I'm a bronze- now there's selection bias. This is at the Trump rally in the Bronx. (laughs) So naturally, there's going to be people who were Democrats who are voting for Trump. The question is, will it be enough? Can Trump rally enough in New York to actually get that 9% left and actually win? I think he can. I really do. (laughs) I think he can. I don't think he will. I mean... Yeah, I, wouldn't I don't think he's going to win New York. Come yeah. on. I, mean, I also think it would scare uh, Democrats, right? Like if he doesn't win New York, but he makes serious inroads and we see other uh, down ticket seats flip to Republicans, like the Democrats take New York for granted, right? I mean, upstate New York actually is more red, but they look at the city, they look at Long Island, they're like, no, this is our territory. And it would be interesting to see the sort of populist response of, of people electing Republicans. Maybe they don't cast a vote for Trump, but if they're saying, well, I'd rather be represented on local level by a Republican, that's actually a win for the party, which is spearheaded by Trump, in I, my opinion. They, New York City had a Republican mayor not that long ago. You know, They have done it. I think yeah. it will happen again. That's that's the city too, and right. the rest of the state is red. Right. So it's possible. We'll see. Look, I mean, I mean Joe Biden can't win Ohio. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean he, he can't? You don't think he will? He's not on the ballot. He's not on the ballot. Why is Joe Biden not on the ballot? Because they didn't file. You got to be kidding me. You didn't. Know, yeah. This I is, didn't even see when it was. Yep. This, this should be breaking file. news. What? Yep. <laughs> and so, so RFK is on all fifty states. No, RFK is not. Uh, RFK is not. Uh, they RFK is on like five or six. Yeah. States. Oh. And they think that uh, RFK said he believes that. By June, they will be on uh, all 50. Is what not said. all 50. It's going to be something like 210 electoral vote total or, or, or something like that. And he says that he will reach the threshold before he will reach 270 total on reg- in registrations before the, the, the debate on CNN. And that's why he should be on it. But basically what happens is in Ohio, you've got to submit, you got to file your candidate 90 days before the election. That makes sense. They need time to make the ballots, to get everything ready. They, three months. The Democratic convention is 75 days from the election. The Democrats chose to do that, which means they haven't filed in Ohio. And so they tried to pass some bill in the state where they were like, "Okay, well, let's just say Biden can be on it. They couldn't agree on it. And now they're all attacking the Republicans in Ohio. And they're like, we did not make this law. The law has been on the books for like 20 years. We did not tell Democrats to do their convention 75 days out. It's their problem and their fault. So he can't win Ohio. They'll cheat that like. I, I say they'll cheat. They're going to do something where the courts will intervene and some special provision will get added. And then Republicans will have grounds to be like, you changed the rules of the election in your state because Biden and the Democrats did not file. And that's crazy. I think that is crazy, though. Why would the DNC just take them for granted that like they could get the rules changed <laughs> later? Or are they that inefficient? They think they're going to lose. They think Biden can't win. I don't know. They already have someone in place. They're like, oh, we forgot to even play I mean, the game for Biden. Do we really but think Biden? But they couldn't Biden... get anyone else on. Like, that's the thing. At their convention, <laughs> right. anything could happen, and they still would not have a candidate on the ballot in Ohio. Right. Just because it's not Biden doesn't mean it's, they can't do no anybody Biden. now. Which is weird. Did yeah. they just decide Ohio's too too red and they can't get it? Sorry, I cut you off. Well, I know it's Captain Obvious, but I mean, there's no way Joe Biden lives another four years, in my opinion. I mean, you, unless you're he's, saying he's alive now, though. And I, I mean, is he alive? I no, don't think I don't so. think he's Jim Carrey wearing a mask. I, no, I, I but, think uh, every. I think when you like when you're not watching him on a screen, every other moment when he's not in the public eye, he is he is hooked up to the Genesis device, mm-hmm. which is circulating fluids. And perpetuating. You, you ever, you ever, if, if, if you, you, have you played Fall in New Vegas? Mm-mm. Anybody? No. No. You guys are not cultured. But for those that, <laughs> for those that have played Fall in New Vegas, Biden is basically Mr. House. 
I it's, it's a guy, you think it's he's a guy a machine? strapped to a, a table with a bunch of he's machines in a plugged in. Pod. <laughs> Whenever he's not in front of the camera. Well, but there's also multiple Well, why do you think he goes vitamins. to Delaware Cryo every weekend? Right, he goes right. to Delaware for something. Well, that's what maybe they it's replicate. just to drink a lot well, of crap, or maybe it's to well, bring Well, the billionaires, you know, they have blood boys where they take yeah. blood from a yep. younger person. Yes. And then, well, there's, there's that guy. Yes. What's his name? Brian Johnson, is that his name? The guy who's the anti-aging guy. He's getting blood from his kid or whatever. Billionaire vampires. What if they, like, hook Biden every every weekend in Delaware? They hook Hunter and Joe up together, and they do blood transfer. <laughs> well, that, now he his, has this very young, like three or four year old grandson too. I mean, he's got lots of that's options. That's how he to takes his meth. Earlier. It's through Hunter's blood into him because he can't take it directly. No, they're, they're, they're putting him in the Genesis chamber. So he's he's going into a giant pod. It freezes him, <laughs> and then they're like, "We don't need Biden for another two days <laughs> and twelve hours." <laughs> And then they thaw him out. He walks out. Urgh. He goes in front of the TV camera and says, come, come on, pack a lacka, pack a lacka. And then he goes back in and frees him again. And did, then did, you, did you see the pack and a pack a lacka lacka? Yeah. So is when he's not fully thawed. Did you thawed, see that? When he's no. Not, well, what is that? Oh, I, dude, I saw the Joe Biden toilet thing. That, that's still, I'm still like. <laughs> We're getting to I it. I know, We're but I still have PTSD <laughs> from it. It's When weird. he's not fully thawed is when his eyelids don't work. That's that, the that, problem. Right. That's why his, his eyes are all squinting. out too fast. It is weird when his face changes, though. It like changes that, a you know? lot. It changes a lot. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying he's wearing a mask, but it is weird. Well, I'm not saying he's wearing a mask. I think he's either yeah. a deep fake or a reanimated corpse. All right. Here. I, I want you to tell me what he's saying, okay? You, you got to listen to this. After I signed the PAC and, uh, PAC at Lack Act into law, I handed the pen that I signed it with the addition of the most person most responsible for the Jeez. legislation. After I signed the PAC and uh, PAC at LAC Act into law, it's Missy I Lewis. handed the pen that I signed it with his addition. Like when your CD has a scratch and it gets stuck. Fish, fish, fish. I said he's clearly saying PAC and a PAC at a AC AC. But someone's saying it sounds like he's saying Adelac, you know? Uh, Kofefi is a big deal for everybody, but this guy does like act. this every day. Uh, 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 guys, I'm, I'm going to tell you what, what really offends me. Look at this video. Pull the video back up. He clearly isn't saying PAC and a Pack Anna la 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 na la na lack. He's not saying that. Like, guys, you 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 got to translate Bidenisms properly, okay? Like when he said true in a shop at a pressure, everyone put true in a as a pressure. Like they didn't even actually try. We need all the syllables. to listen to what he's saying. Right. And I'm like, guys, he's clearly saying pack Anna act pack act act. After I signed the pack and uh, pack at lack act into law. Yeah. Pack and a pack pack at a pack. That caption is generous. I know. Yeah. Well, to what he's really saying. <laughs> There's, look, man, the average life expectancy, I think, is what? It's like 78 or something. Yeah. What is it? It's about I think it's lower than, than that. that. It's it's like like 74. 74 for yeah. men, but I could be wrong. Yep. I mean, I think all of this is, is a sign of how much they're, they're willing to ignore from their side right like left-wing media will look at this and be like we didn't hear anything you know they've started like taking out his gaffes they'll be like unintelligible where mm -hmm. where was which is mm -hmm. true it's unintelligible mm -hmm. but also like the fact that he can't get out these words that are pre-rehearsed speeches he has ahead of time with a teleprompter is not a great look i also want to just piss everybody off who's older than me because people will say like ah oh, you're still a young man i'm like i'm halfway there yeah, I say that all the yeah. time. And they're like, no, Three I'm like, quarters. I am 38. Yeah, we're okay? middle aged. Literally halfway there. 76 is average life ex uh, expectancy. But don't worry. I asked ChatGPT to tell me how long I'd live, and it said 90. Wow. It, it answered you? No, it didn't. What do you mean? Of course it did. You said, how long is Tim Pool going to live, and it said 90? It, I, 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 I said, uh, I'd like to calculate my uh, expe life expectancy. And then it was like, I need to know certain things about how you live. And then I put like, here's how many calories I eat per day. Here's how often I exercise. Here's my height, weight, age. Here's my ethnic background. I said, I don't smoke. I don't drink. And then it was like calculating and the thing like filled. And then it was like, based on everything you've described, people in your similar positions have a life expectancy of late 80s to early 90s. Yeah, Does it give you like it's a, a big, it was a big, if, it was a big you, trend. If you people could speak to somebody that's clairvoyant and they could tell you when you're going to die, would you want to know? No. I don't know. I know. It's kind of a weird. What would I you mean, do? <sighs> I feel like that the issue with that is the moment you ask, they're going to be like, Ugh. well, it was going to be 90, but now it's going to be 39. Because what happens is once I tell you 90, you think you're invincible and then you end up dying in a car accident. Well, there's this guy, Kirk Cousins, and he has a jar in his closet and they're marbles and he has 12 marbles for every year. And he has like, you know, it's like 300 marbles and every month he takes one out. And he has this, you can look it up, type it in marbles. And so he has enough for his age to go to 80 years old. And every month he takes a marble out. So he's reminded how short he has to live. 
Oh, that's cool. I saw one video yeah. where a woman had uh, a, a thing on her wall of mm -hmm. the total weeks she has to live, and it's just like one big thing, and you like you you fill in the squares and you mark it down. I mean, I think there is value in operating that way, right? Like we being should like, live oh, like, what is it like forever. Like, four or 5, like, what things weeks? do you put off because you're like, oh, I'll just do it later. I'll just do it later. Like, I just know so many people who like are like, oh, I would call my mom, but you know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna live forever, so it doesn't matter. Right, or like, right. I, I'm gonna start my family later. Like, this is the constant thing you hear with w women freezing their eggs, like later, later, later. But you actually let your whole life go by. It's good to be reminded of the urgency of life, but I don't want to know the exact answer to when I, it ends i i gotta i gotta i gotta shout out um andrew long in the super chat because i thought the exact same thing he says pack anna ak anna lack is the martian language from mars attacks that's true have you ever seen mars attacks yeah, that's a great go, movie back, 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 back. so, so he's just communicating with his people he's trying to <laughs> a little yeah. shout out in the middle it's a dog whistle to aliens oh man i knew it finally so he's he's how old is the guy 80 yeah, I think yeah. he went How old is William Shatner? That dude's like a million. He's like 93 or yeah. something. That guy's immortal. He just went to space. I know, and he looks like he's seven. He looks like he's 65 or 70. Yeah. So that, that guy's getting an a, NAD, I tell you what. <clears throat> is that Biden what you think he's on? Joe Biden was born in 1942. NAD? NAD? Wow. Seems so what, was crazy. That, what was what? Joe Biden was born in 1942. Wow. Like, good, good, but also crazy. Joe, Joe Biden was born before the end of World War II. Yep. Wasn't there something where it was like he was born closer to Lincoln's assassination than to, yeah. I can't remember what it was, but like, which is to, true of everybody today. of mm -hmm. this age, but like kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, I think that is that that is the case. But he is, but he is the young people's choice is what the media would have you believe, right? I mean. He wears aviators. He's pretty cool. He He's super cool. He gets ice cream. He's got yeah. young granddaughters, I yeah. guess. I mean. You know, Trump is older too. Let's let, let us not forget. But he carries himself so differently that that's I think the bigger deal. We all know someone. You know, everyone knows someone who's like ninety and bike mm -hmm. rides every day. I mean, mm -hmm. Chuck Grassley, who's the oldest uh, member of Joe, Congress. Joe Biden was born seventy-seven years, seven months, and six days after Lincoln was assassinated. Wow. So he's, it yeah, he he was born closer to the assassination of Lincoln than to today. Mind-boggling. That's old. <laughs> I mean, that's old. <laughs> Wow. I think, uh, how old is Trump? Trump's like 78. 78. Yeah. Then that's true for him too, yeah. mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're both old. This is but the thing. As time like, goes but Donald on, Trump's way better. Donald Trump and, I mean, is so I mean, different. He's spry. Like yeah. night and day difference. Thanks for watching this clip from TimCast IRL. Make sure to check out the live show Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. on this channel. Subscribe and we'll see you all there.